previously on the Star Build video portal. Well, that's a dead phone I expect. Well, that's a fail. I'm gonna take it outside, let it cool off, clean it up. I'll try putting in the new battery and see if it works, but I think it's dead. Well, that was scary. I'm glad I didn't burn my house down. I didn't know how bad that was gonna get. Got everything all aired out. I spent about half an hour chiseling out all the cooked material in the battery bay. When I look at these chips on the side, I can see they got pretty hot. I think it's probably dead. I think the electronics probably got way too hot, but I'm gonna hook this battery up and hook up the screen. We'll just see if it miraculously still turns on. My lesson learned here is pay somebody professional to do this for you. However, if I was to do it again myself, I would take a hairdryer and I would heat up this zone to soften the glue so that I could peel the battery up without deforming it. There we go. It's clicked into place. We'll just set the battery in there. I'm not gonna glue it down or remove that cover yet. So we have the battery in place and nothing uh, caught on fire. In order to see if it still works, we're gonna have to reconnect the screen. Those three connectors need to be re-snapped in up here. There is a warning on that that I shouldn't push in the middle. There's a lot of pins. There's a sequence to them. So hard to see if I have it lined up. Again, I, I'd probably get someone to do this. I mean, it costs you a hundred bucks to get your battery replaced. Not destroying your phone. That might be a hundred bucks well spent. It's hard to tell if it's even plugged in right. I think I got that one. For all I know, I'm mauling that connector. I don't even know if I got those in right. Let's see if it starts. Oh my God. I am blown away. Blown away. Phone still works. Thought it was gonna be dead for sure.